Hi, welcome to NetApp KB TV. Today we'll be looking at how to configure remote support agent, also called RSA in cluster on tap. We will quickly run through the pre-deployment considerations before moving on to the actual configuration. First, auto support has to be enabled on all the nodes in the cluster. Second, it is highly recommended to upgrade SP or RLM firmware to the latest. For more information, you can see the KB 101-4170. And third, we must need to have the ability to access the URL https colon forward slash forward slash remote support agent dot netapp dot com. Before you configure the remote support agent, you must first configure the storage system to enable RSA to communicate with data on tap. Now we will run a couple of quick commands to confirm how the settings are. Auto support show command shows the auto support status as you see that the auto support is enabled on all nodes in the cluster. Next run auto support destinations show command to ensure auto support destinations. Then run system services firewall show command to confirm that the firewall is enabled on all nodes. Now I'll check the protocols allowed through the firewall by running system services firewall policy show hyphen service http and https hyphen action allow. Here you can see http and https protocols are allowed through the firewall. Now you must create a role and a user account that RSA can use by running security login commands. Now you will have the RSA role successfully created. Now I create the user account that RSA can use. This will prompt for a new password. Enter the new password. Next we create a user account RSA user for on type web service on the cluster v server. Perfect. We have successfully created a new role RSA and the new account RSA user for HTTP access. Now enable SPI, ONTAPI and COMPAT web services on admin and node v servers. In this example, I'm enabling the web services across all v servers. Then authorize the role RSA to access SPI, ONTAPI and COMPAT web services. Now obtain the cluster management IP address by using netin show command. Take a note of the cluster management IP address for the later configuration of RSA. Now the storage system is ready and we can move ahead with the RSA setup. Log into RLM or SP and run RSA setup command to configure RSA. Would you like to enable remote support agent? Say yes. I'm choosing no to proxy. If there is a proxy in place to connect to the internet, the option is yes. Enter the cluster management IP address. Do you want to use HTTP with SSL? I choose no here. And the HTTP port number is 80. And enter HTTP username that is RSA user and the password. And commit the changes by say yes. Test the configuration by clicking enter.
perfect all tests passed i hope this video was helpful thank you